Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And today we're going to talk to you guys about gateway bourbons. These are bourbons that if you have a spouse or a friend who you want to get into drinking bourbon with you, but they've been a little hesitant, we've picked out some bourbons to try out to get them uh, joining you in a maybe a nice cocktail once in a while. Yeah, so what we did was we looked at five different bourbons. We did a blind taste test. All of these bourbons are easy to find. They're low cost. They're about 80 proof. And we think you could find them easily in any local liquor store. Absolutely. And we should note, not all of these are actual recommendations. There's a few of these we probably wouldn't recommend at all. but Yeah, some of them might surprise you. Yeah, and, and a couple of them we definitely would recommend, but we do have one clear winner. Uh, so without further ado, well, why don't we go ahead and introduce our number five bourbon, which finished the lowest for us. Good old Evan Williams. So this one surprised me, Brian, because I like to mix Evan Williams with a Diet Coke. And I think because I was mixing it, I wasn't really tasting it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this just had like a, a chemical taste to mm -hmm. it. It wasn't good. It is not a good bourbon. It's the cheapest one on our list. It's $14.99 for a $7.50, and it tasted like it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I my notes said gasoline. It was not a great uh, bourbon. And I do like other uh, Heaven Hill stuff. I actually like other Evan Williams stuff, but this one for us was kind of a miss and I really wouldn't recommend this for anybody. Um, it just was not a great experience all around. So uh, number five, last place, definitely not a recommendation. Why don't you throw number four up there? All right, we've got Wild Turkey at number four. Wild Turkey. And this was a surprising one for me because I am a huge wild turkey fan and I was surprised at how low this one finished. Me too. And the, you can just see with, by the color, it's kind of, it it's, has a, had a floral taste to me. And it also is just kind of lacking in flavor, mm -hmm. lacking in body. It's just was not a good, very, not a good pick. Yeah, very light. Um, this is one that's about $23 for that bottle right there. Um, I would say if you want to drink wild turkey, there are definitely better examples like Rare Breed, like Wild Turkey 101. Uh, this one is a pass. Um, you probably could enjoy it in a mixed drink or in a punch or in your eggnog. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I, even for the price, I'd, I'd rather mix the oven with it. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure, for You're sure. It's, it just is not, It was. this was the, probably the one I was most disappointed in and most surprised by uh, because I do like Wild Turkey so much, but this is another one to miss and we don't recommend this one. Go ahead, number, number three. three. Four Roses. Mm, four Roses. Now, I had tried a different Four Roses on Brian's recommendation, yes. and it was delicious. It was so good. I And then we I got confused because I thought, well, we're, we're going to rank that one really high. No. no. No, absolutely not. Whatever this is, is not good. <laughs> now, I am also a Four Roses fan. I like the small batch. I like the small batch select oh, especially. That's what I tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I paid the big bucks. Yeah, for right. And <laughs> the single barrel is very good, too. Uh, this this is what they used to call just the yellow label, and it's about twenty three or twenty four dollars a bottle, and it's another one that's a mess. It was really really bitter. Um, you didn't get a lot of the sweetness and the no. caramel flavor you'd get out of a bourbon. Mm -hmm. It was not enjoyable on its own. No, in fact, I took a swig of it the other night. Mm -hmm. No, I had had a couple beers by that point, but I took a swig and I was like. Ooh, it re-emphasized how bad yeah. this, what this pick was for us. Yeah, and, and again, not to disparage Four Roses, but this particular version yeah. of Four Roses, it wasn't great. And I was especially disappointed. This was my grandpa's bourbon, and uh, I just don't, I, I can't agree with you, Graham. Sorry. Oh, Gramps. <laughs> All right, what's next? Number two. Number two. Oh, and I think, dad. And I think this is the first one we would say recommend. Absolutely, we, yes. This was my drink of choice in college. I loved it. Shots all around. You could mix it. <laughs> and it's not expensive. No, not at all. That, Who doesn't love an old granddad? How much was that big boy? Oh, but I would say, I think it was like 27 bucks. 27 yeah. bucks for a 175. Yeah. That's not even a liter. It's bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a pretty good value. It, this was a good bourbon. I would mm -hmm. say if you can't find our number one, which you probably can because it's easy to find. Oh, yeah. This is a very good substitute. I think if you wanted somebody to drink bourbon with you, this is a good one to start them with. It goes down easy. Yep. It's smooth. Yep. It's delicious. Yep. And it has that nice Jim Beam peanutty flavor mm -hmm. to it. Um, it's a really nice bourbon. And I was surprised because I used to kind of consider old granddad kind of like 
like a cheap bourbon. Like swill. Away. Yeah. yeah, right. I and, know, me too. Right. And I, I mean, I've had a new respect for own granddad with this one. Mm -hmm. I've got the 114 up on the shelf. That's a great value. But this is a really nice bourbon. If you want to start somebody, it's a really close second mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. as far as that went. And our number one. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Old Forester. Old Forester. Now this is the base level Old Forester, 86 proof. I am a huge fan of Old Forester. I haven't dr had an Old Forester that I didn't like. Yeah, and this one wasn't the like easy winner. We we agreed. We, I think we only disagreed on two rankings. Right. Right. But. But this one was our clear number one. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You can sip it. You can mix it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing about this. A lot of these are really hard to sip because the flavors aren't really there. It's a low proof, obviously, so it's not quite as strong. This one, you could mix it. You could drink it straight. It is a really nice flavored bourbon. Now, it's, a, it's the highest of this group. It's 86 proof. So we're creeping up towards 90, but... It is just a fantastic flavor. It's got that old Forester kind of signature flavors that you really like. And, and for a cheaper bourbon, it's about $24 a bottle. And for a lower proof, it really, it, it's a crowd pleaser. And mm -hmm. I think that your significant other friend, whoever, would be real happy with sipping that old Forester. And I think it would be a gateway to mm -hmm. try some more bourbons for them. Even a Christmas gift this year, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Throw it throw it under the tree for mm -hmm. somebody. It's a great way to get them started. So Lauren, cheers. And if you guys like what you saw, please like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And watch out for new updates. We are super excited to bring you holiday recommendations this year. Thanks for watching.